once again, the United States women's Olympic basketball team showing perfection here in Rio. Well, Tamika, we go all the way back to 2004 now, four straight Olympic golds. How did this one feel different from when you won the first time in 2004? Well, um, this one felt different just knowing it was my last one, you know, and just kind of looking at the last 15 years of um, being able to play, you know, on the senior Olympic team. It's just really been a blessing and an honor to represent my country. And so, you know, going out there every single day and practice games, and the fans that were out there, I mean, it was just, Everything, I'm just gonna remember everything. And you shared it with two of your teammates, Donna Taurasi and Sue Berg. Can, can you talk about that experience? Yeah, I mean, to be able to experience it with them too. And you know, even when I was leaving, um, and I walked over to them, you know, we did a little group hug and stuff, and I just told them, you know, I'm like looking at them, like, like I truly like love each one of them. And you know, are we best friends and all that? No, but the bond that we'll always have is something that nobody can take away the respect level we have for one another. Nobody can ever take that away. You talk about representing your country. So few athletes get to experience what you've experienced four times on the Olympic stage, and that is standing, listening to the national anthem, wearing a gold medal. Um, when you stood up there knowing it was your last time, what did that feel like? Uh, I just felt blessed, you know, and uh, you can never, it never gets old. Never get old standing on the podium and looking to your left, looking to your right, you know, seeing the ladies that for the last month, a you know, month, a little bit over a month, you've been competing with. And they went from enemies to teammates really fast, but you know, just getting getting to know them. So standing on that podium and uh, you hear the national anthem being played and the flag raising up. You know, I always talk about that moment just because you are, you know, you're proud to be able to represent your country and you're proud to, for any country to medal. But, you know, in, in our case, in my case, you're having the opportunity to do it four times. Once in a lifetime that you do it once, but to do it four, you know, I'm just blessed. You said at the start of the year you'd, you'd really know what this final year was going to be like after the Olympics. Now here we are, I know. after the Olympics, 10 games to go. Uh, time to really focus in on what the Indiana Fever and your career has been all about, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's time right now, you know, for the momentum that we went into the break with, we need to carry that over. That needs to carry over. Um, you know, I feel like we have the pieces, we have the players. It's just a matter of, you know, putting all that together. And hopefully we started moving in the right direction. We definitely haven't peaked. So hopefully we started moving in the right direction to get us to where, where we're playing at our best come play off time. Thank you for watching our journey of Rio. Now watch us as we get back to work in the WNBA.